بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن السلام عليكم ورحمة الله وبركاته Respected beloved brothers and sisters الحمد لله رب العالمين We are extremely excited to host two beautiful guests uh, These two beautiful girls they visited us at Epic exactly one year ago and we are so happy to have them again but unfortunately due to what's happening we are hosting them online so please join me to welcome Maryam and Fatima Masoud Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Wa alaikum assalam wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh How are you dear Ustad Bajur? Alhamdulillah Rabbi Alameen I'm doing great How are you Maryam? Alhamdulillah I'm doing fine Alhamdulillah Thank you so much, Jazakallah Khair, for joining us. Uh, SubhanAllah, it's been exactly one year since you came and visited us with your family and your beautiful sister Fatima. And uh, we missed you so much, so we decided to call you and uh, have a conversation with you uh, online. Yeah, Alhamdulillah, it is our honor and we're really happy to do this um, very beneficial conversation online and hopefully um, everyone watching will be benefited from this conversation. Insha'Allah Ta'ala. Sister Fatima, <laughs> <laughs> we miss you so much. How are you? I'm good, Alhamdulillah. How are you? I'm doing great. I missed you so much. You want to come and visit us in Dallas when this whole thing is over, inshallah? Inshallah. Inshallah. How about we start by listening to you, Fatima, recite to us something from the Quran? How about that? Okay. Okay, yallah. Bismillah. A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Bismillahir rahmanir rahim Allah nuru samawati wal ard Masalu nurihi kemishkatir Fiha misbah Al misbah fi dujaja Allah, takbir, Allah Akbar, what a beautiful start, amazing. I love your voice and your recitation and you picked one of the most beautiful ayat, Allahu Akbar. So beautiful, Fatima, Jazakallah khair, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Insha'Allah. So, Maryam, how are you spending your days uh, being at home all the time? Give us some ideas, Insha'Allah. Um, Alhamdulillah, you know, it's always better to be positive no matter what, what is the situation. This is, of course, a test from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So we have to like stay positive and, and make, make dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Inshallah, it will all get better very soon. And when I'm at home, I try to um, do things that I like, so some of my hobbies. Like I, I read a lot of Quran and I also like painting with my sister and baking and things like that. Allah. So you're reviewing your uh, hafiz, right? Yes, that is correct. I am doing um, ijazah. So I'm reviewing. I'm doing two ijazahs. I'm reviewing with two teachers, and also I review at home with my mother as well. Mashallah. How many juzo do you review a day? Juzo, half a juzo? Yeah, usually I try to do one juz every day. Oh, mashallah. Allahu Akbar. Excellent. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala put barakah in your hafiz, inshallah ta'ala. Ameen, ya Rabb. So uh, has been Fatima behaving at home? 
<laughs> yeah, she has been behaving at home. For the past <laughs> uh, few days, actually, we have been recording our series because, alhamdulillah, we are coming out with a series in Ramadan, both me and Fatima. So we are, we are working on that series and it's like taking up a lot of time. Oh, mashallah, excellent. We can't wait to watch that series, alhamdulillah. <laughs> Inshallah. <laughs> um, what kind of advice would you give to the young brothers and sisters that are uh, going to be stuck at home during the month of Ramadan? Is there any advice you would like to share with them or maybe a program or a schedule, any kind of advice, inshallah ta'ala, that will help them use their time beneficially, you know, uh, during this uh, great month that is full of rewards and full of barakah? Yes, um, I, I have some advice that I would like to give um, my dear brothers and sisters who are watching. Also, some ad I want to remind myself as well. Um, this is a very blessed month and we should definitely try to use this time wisely and make the best of this time. We can, we can improve in many different aspects in our life, inshallah. We can make an effort to get closer to Almighty Allah and we can also try to... Um, yeah, we can make a better relationship with the words of Allah, the Qur'an, because as we know, the month of Ramadan is the month of the Qur'an, since the Qur'an was sent down in this blessed month. So that's why I think it is very important for us to to get, uh, to get make a better relationship with the Qur'an and try to you know understand and memorize the Qur'an. That is excellent, mashallah, excellent. How about some uh, actual practical tips for uh, all the viewers that love you and watch you from all over the world sure um so i have a few tips that i would like to mention about the quran so first i want to start by saying that the beautiful ayah in the holy quran about the month of ramadan so in surah al-baqarah allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says a'udhu billahi minash shaitanir rajeem bismillahir rahmanir rahim شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن هدى للناس وبينات من الهدى والفرقان فمن شهد منكم الشهر فليصم ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون ما شاء الله so, um, so during this blessed month, we should try to improve our um, bond with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And the way we can do this is through the Holy Quran. So I did prepare a few tips I would like to share. Um, first, of, first, of, first and foremost, I would like to say that um, when, we, when we normally recite the Holy Quran, each letter we recite, we receive 10 rewards. But subhanAllah, in the month of Ramadan, it actually is multiplied by 70 times or more. So it is a great opportunity for us to earn many, many rewards and blessings from Almighty Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And here are some tips that I would like to, some very important points that I would like to share. So reading, read the Quran daily. It is like important for us to be consistent. We should try to do like one just every day. But if that's not possible, then we can do a few pages or even one page. Since we are in quarantine, we have a lot of extra time and it is important for us to use this time to get closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Um, the next point is we can try to read the meaning as well. Because um, I noticed that if we, it is very important because if we look at the meaning and if we understand what we are reciting, then it can help us implement these teachings in our life. And for example, if we are praying Salah and we recite like a small surah from Juzamma, what we can do is we can go and look at the meaning from the uh, from a tafsir book. We can go deeper, and then when we when we use this surah to pray in Salah again, we can understand what we are reciting, and this will help us to bring more khushua into our Salah. Absolutely. Um, another thing is we should definitely develop a routine. So the best time to read the Quran is after Fajr prayer. And we should also try to create like a like a goal or a challenge for ourselves during Ramadan. And, and Fatima, Fatima wants to tell us about her Ramadan challenge. <coughs> so Fatima, 
What do you want to tell all the kids that love you all over the world? They are looking at you right now and they want to apply whatever you say to them. What do you want to tell them to do in Ramadan? Go ahead, Fatima. Eat for Ramadan. That is for the way to say in Jannah. And, and I will keep my series. And what is your challenge? You're going to memorize one verse? Yeah. I'm going to memorize one verse. Complete one verse new. And, and I'm going to memorize lots of words. And I'm going to review my old jewels. Mashallah, mashallah. So you want to review your old jewels and memorize a new one? Yes, inshallah. Yes. I'm going to try to take that challenge myself also. <laughs> <laughs> and may Allah SWT make it easy for you, Fatima, to um, complete your Ramadan challenge. I also have a Ramadan challenge for myself. I want to complete um, reading the entire Quran twice during the month of Ramadan. And I also want to finish one of my ijaza. And inshallah, I want to learn, I want to look at the tafsir and learn some Quranic vocabulary and some new hadith and du'as, inshallah. MashaAllah, MashaAllah, may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala make it easy for you, inshallah, to achieve all these beautiful goals, alhamdulillah, rabbi alameen. Anything else you would like to tell uh, uh, all our viewers? Yes, um, so in this beautiful month of Ramadan, um, other than reading Quran, we can also do many other acts of worship. Um, for example, we can do a lot of dhikr, because remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala at all times is extremely important. And in, in the Holy Quran, in Surah Al-Ahzab, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, A'udhu billahi minash shaytanir rajeem Ya ayyuhal ladhina amanu zhkuru Allah dhikran kathira wa sabbihuhu bukratan wa asila and these verses mean, O oh, you who believe, remember Allah with much remembrance and glorify Him in the morning and the evening. So these oh. ayahs these ayahs show us the importance of doing the morning and evening adhkar. And one very important um, the dhikr that we should do, subhanallah wa bihamdihi. It's a very easy dhikr, but it's really, really powerful and meaningful. And there's actually a very beautiful hadith. Man qala subhanallah wa bihamdihi fi yawmin mi'ata marra husat fatayahu wa inkanat mithla zabad al-bahr. And this hadith means whoever says subhanallah wa bihamdihi a hundred times throughout the day, um, they, they will be forgiven his sins even if it was as much as the foam of the sea. All the sins are forgiven? The, the minor sins. <laughs> <laughs> Allah Akbar. You know what, uh, uh, Maryam, uh, one time I timed it. I timed Subhanallah wa bihamdi a hundred times. Guess how long it took me to say it? Uh, 15 minutes? No, two minutes only. <laughs> That's two it. Minutes. So can you imagine erase all your minor sins in two minutes, Subhanallah. That's a very, very good reminder. Inshallah yes. ta'ala, I'm going to put it on my schedule too. And, and I hope all the viewers. Yes, inshallah. We definitely want to recite this to our, uh, the dhikr a hundred times. And Fatima has a hadith she wants to share as well. Go ahead. Oh, yeah. Abu Allah Akbar. Which means Masika of Allah Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam said, Shall I tell there are two statements that is light for the tongue to remember, heavy in the scale, but very dear to the merciful. That is which means Allah is free from each perfection in the praise. Wow, mashallah. Allah in all praises to him. And glorified is Allah the Great. Allahu Akbar. And they are, subhanAllah, you're so right. Uh, Rasulullah Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam, he told us they are very light. And if you notice, if you say, SubhanAllah wa bihamdi, SubhanAllah al -Azim, they're very easy. I've never heard anybody complain and say, oh, SubhanAllah wa bihamdi is very hard. <laughs> Nobody <laughs> ever said that. So mashallah, so that's a beautiful, beautiful advice. Thank you for reminding me of this hadith. 
inshallah ta'ala every time we have a break or we are um, uh, taking like maybe sometimes when we are uh, uh, studying and we could repeat in our tongue all the time subhanallah wa bihamdi subhanallah al azim and we get all these hasanat subhanallah very good advice thank you so okay. much fatima what else uh, maryam all right, so uh, other than making dhikr, we can also make a lot of dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. In a beautiful hadith, our beloved Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alayhi wa sallam tells us that the children of Adam all constantly err, but the best of those who err are the ones who constantly repent. And Fatima has a beautiful ayah from Surah Baqarah she wants to share about making dua. Wow, go ahead. Allah ta'ala says in Surah Baqarah, وَإِذَا سَأَلَتْ عِبَادِي <laughs> Did you notice something here, Maryam, that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, وَإِذَا سَأَلَكَ عِبَادِي عَنِّي فَإِنِّي قَرِيبٌ I answer, not only he said I listen, I answer the dua. So we should make a lot of dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala in this month. Let me ask you, Maryam, what is your favorite dua? My favorite dua, um, well, one very important dua that brings me to another point during Laylatul Qadr, we should make this dua, Allahumma inna ka'afuun tuhibu al-afwa fa'afu anni. Subhanallah, Subhanallah. This is when Aisha radiallahu anha came to Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa and she asked him, Ya Rasulullah, if I witness Tayyat al-Qadr, what dua should I say? And Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa taught her this dua and to all of us, to the whole ummah. What else you would like to share with us? <coughs> So uh, a few other points, um, since we are, since Ramadan is going to be really different this year because we won't be able to go to the masjid to pray Tarawih, but we should still stay positive and make the best out of it so we can stay home and we can make jama'as with our family and we can and we can hold halaqas and you know, if we, if we spend valuable time with our family while increasing our iman at the same time, what better way than to do that and remembering Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, all the angels will be surrounding us and it will be very, very inspiring inspiring and um, beautiful so if we make like these small halakas very often then each one of the family members can share a little bit they can have some input it can be anything like a Quranic hadith a story um, tafsir or anything that they want to share and it's a very beautiful way to spend time with your family excellent excellent mashallah how about helping uh, mama and baba in the in the kitchen yes this is very important as well um, during this time, we can um, improve on our character. Um, it's very important to be very kind and helpful towards your parents, your sisters, your family, your brothers. And, you know, we can even go around the neighborhood and we can tidy up a bit. Just try to improve ourselves and our character is very important. Yeah, because we know that obey, uh, obeying the parents by itself is an act of worship. Subhanallah. Subhanallah. I love those tips. Anything else? It is very important to give charity in the month of Ramadan. We should always spend in the way of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And Fatima actually has an amazing way she wants to motivate little children to give charity. Fatima, tell me. In Ramadan, I, I make a sadaqa box and, and, and decorate it. And, and, and every day I put lots of, lots of money in it. A dollar. And... And when the sadaqah boxes, I put it all in the donation box. So you're going to put one dollar every day in the sadaqah box, yeah, Fatima? And then at <laughs> yes. the end of the month, what are you going to do with that money? I'm going to put it on in the in the sun in the masjid donation box. Masha Allah, that's a very lucky masjid. <laughs> Alhamdulillah. <laughs> yeah. We have this that's... beautiful tip for little children for inspiring them to give sadaqa. What you can do is you can make a little tiny sadaqa box and you can decorate it. You can put your own your own um, character into it and then every day you can put just a small amount of money and when it's full then you can just put it into the masjid donations and that's what Fatima has been doing as well. I love this idea and inshallah ta'ala everyone who apply this idea Fatima inshallah you will get the hasanat because you are the one who gave them this beautiful suggestion mashallah. Thank you. <laughs> 
And one last last tip that I want to share is you can make a Quran or dua buddy when you can it can be it can be anyone it can be your sister your brother your cousin your friend or your parent anyone who you can discuss the Quran and duas and hadith and sunnah with and you can lift up each other and inspire one another to to be closer to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala Excellent, mashallah. I love all these tips, subhanAllah. They are all practical and they are all achievable, doable also. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Alameen. And we ask everybody to make their own uh, plans and the goals in Ramadan, inshaAllah ta'ala, as long as they do something that they know what they can handle, right? Because everybody's different. Someone maybe can read the whole Quran once, someone can do it twice, somebody can read half the Quran, but everybody should do something in this month and take advantage. Uh, let me ask you one final question, Maryam. Some people are, you know, uh, maybe complaining, oh, you know what, it's so boring, uh, we're staying at home all day long, uh, what can I do now, what should I do? Uh, you know, some people complain. Uh, what do you, what, what's your advice for people who are complaining about being at home in Ramadan? Uh, my advice would be to stay positive and try to make the best out of the time that the extra time that you have because um, because since this is a situation we cannot control it's not under our control everything is up to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala so that's my advice to stay positive and make lots of dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala um, and like for example you can make a dua especially for the coronavirus you to cure the coronavirus. Mashallah. And you know what? We should not even complain, right? We should be still very grateful. We are spending the time with our family. That was supposed to be the best time ever, right? And there are so yes. many people that do not even have a home like ours. Some people are suffering. They have no food. Alhamdulillah, Rabbi Ani, we still have so many blessings to be grateful for, inshallah. Ta'ala. So even during quarantine and while being stuck at home, we should try to stay positive and make lots of dua to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. And there is a special dua that we can make for the coronavirus. And I'll actually share this dua. Allahumma inni a'udhu bika min al-barasi wal-junooni wal-juzami wa min sayyi al-asqam. MashaAllah, MashaAllah. SubhanAllah, this dua covers all kinds of evil diseases. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala cure us and cure all humanity. And may Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala uh, grant shifa to everybody who is afflicted with this virus or any, any other sickness, inshaAllah ta'ala. Ameen, ya Rabbil Alameen. So, Maryam, would you like to recite something from the Quran, inshaAllah ta'ala, so we can hear your beautiful recitation, inshaAllah? Yes, yeah, sure. <laughs> أعوذ بالله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم الحمد لله الذي له ما في السماوات وما في الأرض وله الحمد في الآخرة وهو الحكيم الخبير يعلم ما يلج في الأرض وما يخرج منها وما ينزل من السماء وما يعرج فيها وهو الرحيم الغفور وقال الذين كفروا لا تأتين الساعة قل بلى وربي لتأتينكم عالم الغيب لا يعزب عنه مثقال ذرة في السماوات ولا في الأرض ولا أصغر من ذلك ولا أكبر إلا في كتاب مبين ليجزي الذين آمنوا وعملوا الصالحات أولئك لهم مغفرة ورزق كريم والذين سعوا في آياتنا معاجزين أولئك أولئك لهم عذاب من رجز ويرى الذين أوتوا العلم الذي أنزل إليك من ربك هو الحق ويهدي ويهدي إلى صراط العزيز الحميد 
وقال الذين كفروا هل ندلكم على رجل ينبئكم إذا مزقتم كل ممزق إنكم لفي خلق جديد أفترى على الله كذبا أم به جنة بل الذين لا يؤمنون بالآخرة في العذاب والضلال البعيد أفلم يروا إلى ما بين أيديهم وما خلفهم من السماء والأرض إن نشأ نخسف بهم الأرض أو نسقط عليهم كسفا من السماء إن في ذلك لآية لكل عبد منيب ما شاء الله ما شاء الله الله أكبر It's amazing He recited the Surah Sabah. I, I love this Surah, Subhanallah. May Allah Subhanahu Wa Ta'ala reward you for every single letter, inshaAllah Ta'ala. Thank you so Ameen, much. Ya Ameen. Uh, Fatima, is there anything else you would like to say before we end? Hey, this is the most dua that Rasulullah made. Rabbana atina fi dunya hasana wa fi al-akhirati hasana wa qina a'adhaab al-nar. Subhanallah. Thank you so much for reminding me with this dua. Allahu Akbar. I am I'm so happy and so blessed that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gave me the opportunity to interview today. And I'm so happy and I'm also very sure that all our viewers are very excited to see you guys. And they are all making dua for you and you make dua for them inshaAllah ta'ala. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala gather us soon inshaAllah ta'ala. May Allah bring us back to our masajid very soon inshaAllah ta'ala. May Allah bless you and bless your parents for producing such beautiful daughters, alhamdulillah, rabbil alameen. May Allah make you both and your knowledge in their heavy scale on the day of judgment, inshaAllah ta'ala. And may Allah bless every family with girls that are righteous and boys that are righteous. Ameen, ya rabbil alameen. Anything else you want to finish with, inshaAllah? Thank you. Thank you so much for inviting us on. And we really enjoyed this session. And alhamdulillah, it was our, our honor. And yes, inshallah, we would love to come back to Texas, but also we would love for you, Ustad, to come to our house one day as well, inshallah. Absolutely. It will be my honor to visit you, inshallah ta'ala. And we will be looking forward to have you both, you and Fatima and your family, all of you, inshallah ta'ala, back uh, at Epic. Epic is your Texas home, inshallah ta'ala. We love to have you anytime you want, inshallah. Jazakumullah khair. Barakallah fikum. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. السلام عليكم وعليكم السلام السلام عليكم شهر رمضان الذي أنزل فيه القرآن ومن كان مريضا أو على سفر فعدة من أيام أخر يريد الله بكم اليسر ولا يريد بكم العسر ولتكملوا العدة ولتكبروا الله على ما هداكم ولعلكم تشكرون